Hi! Hello! <laughs> and welcome back to Two Blonde Brummies. Today we are actually going to try and cover a bit more of a serious topic. Yes. Okay, because it is the thing that everyone's talking about at the moment and it's ways to help save the planet. Yeah. Now, we're both busy, we're mums, we've got real life and, you know, what we've tried to approach this in is it very much in a way of Ah, I'm running around after three kids. How am I meant to be looking after the planet as well? I don't have the time. That was my angle. It was me as well when, when, we, when I first started. Okay. And I think one of the things that I feel is I really do want to, um, I really want to help. Yeah. You know, I do want to help. And sometimes it can feel very overwhelming. Yeah. Over, well, what can I do? And what difference is little old me going to make? Absolutely, yeah. So I think I, the, the way that I sort of see it is if we all try and make little changes yeah. along the way, then those little changes, when multiplied by a million people, or so, yeah. will make we'll, a difference. Will make a difference. Every little helps. Yeah. End Let's of quote story. Tesco's. Yeah, well, well, why not? Yes. So I always think that you may think this isn't going to make a massive impact, but, but it, it will. It really will. It really will. And, and I'm, I'm really looking for advice as well. So anything that we talk about today, um, if you know anything better um, or can give some advice, brilliant, let us know because we'd love to know about that because always, we're always learning about yes. stuff, aren't we, at yeah. the end of the day. And I really, we do want to make a difference. Yeah. You know, we've got younger children and we want to make a difference to the next generation um, as well as trying to do it now. But they're yeah. the ones who are going to suffer really predominantly. So straight away, we're going to start with reusable water bottles. So this was probably the easiest thing that I've had to yeah. do. Um, um, obviously it's really easy to just stop off at the shop and grab a bottle of water, which I hold my hand up, I do do um, occasionally. You know, I try not to. I try and go around with my water bottle uh, as much as I can. And it's really great. I don't know whether you've found this as well, but on a lot of sets that I've worked on, they've actually banned water bottles. You have to take your yes, own bottle, yeah. which is really good. So we've all seen the images about the seas, the oceans, um, the harmful gases that plastics yeah. um, are emitting. So it's a really easy change, I think. Yeah, this is definitely the most, the most simple thing that you can do. And what I was going to say, there's lots of places now, um, shops, cafes, you can actually download an app and it will show you where you can go and have your water bottle refilled whilst you're out oh, and about. Yes. I'm going to just, I'm yeah. only, you know what, I was doing some research actually because I wanted to come in with loads of statistics but it was just quite a big minefield out there and they're all quite general so I didn't want to talk about stuff that I don't really know what I'm talking about statistic wise. Um, but yeah, I read that there are 12,000, there's a statistic, um, venues all over the UK that are, you can go and yes. refill your water bottle. Yeah, to be fair, you should stuff. be able to go into any cafe. It's really good. But these are the ones that specifically say, please come in and fill your water bottle. Yeah. And I thought the interesting thing was that the biggest uptake of using reusable water bottles has taken place in the last two years, mm. which is true for me. Yeah. I've only started in the last two Same years. Same here. And that the demographic that's most adopted it is the 45 to, uh, 45 to 54 55. year olds. Yeah. yeah, yeah, about that. Yeah. So okay. that was that. All right. Come on, then. Yeah, let's okay. go on to another one. Another simple win for me. And I'm sure there's going to be lots of people out there that go, oh, yes, but that's not eco-friendly powder or whatever. The simplest win that I got was by going back to using washing powder, mm. okay? Because I had moved on to using those pods. I had you moved on to using washing um, liquid in a massive plastic bottle. I even went on to buy like um, an e-cover brand where I, I could refill my bottle. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I'm still going... Yes, but my refilled still thing is still coming bottles. in massive, thick plastic bottles. And then one day I was in the supermarket <coughs> and went, yes, but there's no plastic. But there's a tiny bit, actually, I'm lying, which um, opens the thing. They can get rid of that, okay? And the rest is purely recyclable cardboard. Yeah. And I empty my powder into a metal tin for keeping and recycle that. You know what I love about this as well is that you bought big... Yeah, because that's another thing, moving on, because that's another thing that I'm doing. You, you mentioned quite a few things there, that the fact that you sometimes, <coughs> I know it's plastic, just to let you know, I know, I can see. 
But unfortunately, that's that's all I've got available. Mm -hmm. So my thing when I first started doing this was to try and buy vegan products or cruelty-free products. So that's why I bought Aveda. Number one, it's really, it's, I love it. Nice. Uh, it's nice, but it is expensive. It's not a cheap option, but I do like, you know, the effect that it has. Um, but I also buy big. So instead of buying my cheaper the bottles. travel size now, they freak me out. I'm like, oh, travel look size at all or, these tiny little things. They which, look cute. Which they I can get cute. because sometimes it is easier well, to travel you, with those. And when you're going through an airport. It's a, not, you've got no you've choice. You've got no choice. But I buy this. This lasts me a year. I suppose what you could do with One that year. was you buy that. And then when you are traveling and you need yes, to go I through airport security. Go, that's you exactly those, what I do. And at least you can then keep reusing that's what I do. those ones. And that's the difference. It's all about being able to reuse, yeah. isn't it? So, yeah, if you can, even because, you know, plastic, unfortunately, it can be the only option. Um, so while plastic is the only option, what I do is I buy big um, instead of the smaller bottles. So if I go through three or four smaller bottles a year, instead, I buy one and just have this for mm. a year. So that can help. Yeah. Yeah, never Everybody thought about that really. See, that's why, that's why yeah. I like your big box. Okay, so we've talked about how I clean my clothes. Yes. Cleaning my body. Now, Ooh, who are misses? <laughs> I do clean. Oh, she's got personal. Now, I have a husband. Oh, you have one of those. I have one of those. As well. Does he help you clean? <laughs> Occasionally. Um, let's not go there today. This is meant to be a serious one. <laughs> so, um, family show. He goes through. Um, shower gel, yes. literally at a rate of knots. Probably one bottle of shower gel every single week. Yes, I mean, it's my partner. I have one. Yeah, but they're smelling men, about, aren't they? Yeah, but it lasts about six months. Yeah, but we don't I just smell. use a little bit and then... We smell of roses. Yeah. Um, so, but one of the first changes we made like this. was soap. soap. Yeah. Now, this is a very... Um, it's quite a posh soap because it's, it's quite expensive because it's actually... Look, it's wrapped in hessian, anything wrapped in hessian, that's posh, isn't it? Yeah. So, but it's actually, it's got palm oil free, organic soap, and it's only got, you know, natural yeah, ingredient. You can have a look. Um, and I don't always buy this really posh soap, but I tend to buy natural, Ooh. organic whenever I can. Cruelty free. Yeah. I'm a fan. Exactly. Oh. So, um, but I think that cost about £5 a bar. Yeah. So I understand. How long would that last you though? Well, it'll last me for a long time. Well, how long? Oh, I don't know. Six I'm not months? measuring it. No, it wouldn't last Three that long. Months. Not in the shower. In the shower, because I'm washing my body okay. every day. So you probably. Dirtier than you said then. Yeah. Yeah. But you're probably looking at, I don't know, a month. Oh, okay. A month. So £5 yeah, you, a month. You would get through shower gel. So depending on your. What, three quid? What shower gel you buy, because like that can that. be very expensive. Um, but this, to me, this is super easy. I'm not changing my lifestyle. A lot of I'm people go, though, I don't want to use soap because of the hygiene, but I use either flannels or, you know, those um, scrunchy things, things or yeah. a spongy thing, and I put my soap in there rather than straight on my body. I yeah. put it on there first, and then you have a little wash. Yeah. So, for me, straight away, you've just saved easy. yourself, especially when it comes to my husband, four shower gel bottles. And at first, I have to say, he went... I don't want to use soap, and it falls out your fingers, and you get, you know, and it gets slippy, and then you're in the shower, and you're having to bend over in the shower. Oh, oh come on. on. This is not major inconvenience when we're talking about saving the planet. the planet. Okay? Slippy soap, or saving the planet. Yes. No brainer, really. Exactly. So that's but one of my favourites. talking about shower gel, <laughs> I have one here. Um, the only reason why I'm talking about this is, again, for cruelty-free purposes. Um, because I think cruelty free, or like you're saying, like uh, you're, you're, I think these things can cost more money. Mm. Where at first, when I first started doing this, I was thinking, I can't afford to spend any more money on products. I was, you know, I'm not flush. Mm. <laughs> so money was. Um, yeah, it's a factor. It's a factor yeah. in it. So when I started looking into um, cruelty free products, um, Tesco own brand i mean i think this was about 30p or something silly okay really cheap um but all you have to do is find the rabbit they really it's really easy to find cruelty free i know it's plastic um and i know it's small but that was the uh, it's but the only you, option do you not now think that you could find a cruelty free soap yeah definitely i would def 
I do use because that. Because it doesn't have to be that soap. If no. you go along to Tesco's exactly. and have a look at their soaps Absolutely. and their range of soaps, I'm sure you will now find a cruelty-free soap. But this, soap. this was a work in progress yeah. for me. So this is what I started off with. one step forward, one step, cruelty-free. And now I'm going on yes. to the next step, get yeah. rid of the plastic bottles. Exactly.